Hey there YouTube, JP back for another JP Gaming. Welcome to episode 2 of learning how to play Hearthstone. In episode 1, we created our free-to-play account and we did the initial missions that you are forced to do when you first start the game. It was, I believe, six missions, very simple, that taught us the basics, um, taught us how to cast creatures, the difference between creatures and spells, to um, quickly summarize, um, obviously, creatures stay on the board. They have attack and defense, um, spells, one-time use, etc., etc. All very basic stuff. They did get to the point at the towards the end of the missions where they taught us about charge and taunt. Charge minions can attack the turn they come down, and taunt creatures. You cannot attack the opponent until you've cleared or handled the taunt creatures so then it kind of spit us out into a um, something more familiar that we're used to uh, and so now we're back at it episode two we've started the client back up we've been presented with this um, neat little mean streets of Gadgetan expansion is now available it's been that way for a while so I'm assuming it's just letting us know um, where we can spend that money so we'll go ahead and click through that it's going to be the same quest, I believe, win five practice games. <clears throat> I'm just curious if we take a look. Yeah, see, so one thing to note when you're, after you've completed the tutorial and the beginning quests, every day you will get a new quest available until you have three. And once you have three, you'll get no new ones until you complete one. Um, and I just wanted to check if you could re-roll quests. Every day, you're allowed to re-roll one quest, and it will be a little X up in this top right corner, and you click it, and it will randomly select a new quest. And so that's if you get that's if you get three quests you don't want on your account or unable to do. You can always re-roll one once a day. Hopefully, get something easier. Um, and I just wanted to check out. So they are forcing us to do five win five games in practice mode, which is fine. You'll notice we only have our mage open currently, level 1 mage, with um, some classic mage cards. All of our other heroes are locked currently, and we'll unlock them as we play our practice games. They've highlighted where we can find our practice games, so we'll go ahead and click through here. <clears throat> practice your skills against the innkeeper and battle the 9 different classes. So this is how we're going to unlock the classes, I'm assuming. So we'll go ahead and select normal. And we'll choose the only hero that we have available. To unlock heroes, you'll need to defeat them. Challenge your favorite hero first. Wow, okay. So, I, I hate warrior. Nobody likes shaman. Old boy innkeeper is saying that we should pick paladin. But uh, personally, I'm a rogue man myself. Rogue and hunter. So go ahead and highlight rogue here. I wonder what this little exclamation point means. You're right. Select play. It'll be interesting to see if they give us tutorial through this or if they're just going to turn us loose and let us play games. Oh, I forgot. I need to turn the volume up here. Apologize for that. So you can draw them later. All right. So it's letting us mulligan. This is the first time they've um, taught us this. And so a mulligan is um, a term that's used in uh, card games where when you receive a starting hand, um, you can choose to mulligan certain cards in this situation and uh, draw new ones. Uh, it's different from game to game. In Magic the Gathering, for example, if you take a look at your hand and decide that you want a mulligan you actually have to shuffle all all of the entire hand back into your deck and take a new a new hand but with one less card so the starting hand size and magic is seven if you mulligan you're down to six it's not as strict or as punishing here in hearthstone uh, in hearthstone you just select the cards that you don't want to keep that will put a x around them 
and then they will go um, they will be replaced with a new card randomly I don't believe they can be replaced with the same card so this will kind of be pulled to the side and then new cards are pulled out of the deck I'm pretty sure that's the case but we'll obviously keep our 2-1 uh, to start off followed up with a Novus Engineer both get answered very easily by the rogue so we'll see how smart the computer is Go ahead and start by playing our Murloc Raider. Passing the turn. Got just lay them all down here. This will draw us a card. We don't have anything to do with it though, so we'll just pass. Next turn, um, we got a couple options. We could Arcane Intellect. But I think we're actually going to do a river croc crocolisk and arcane missiles with our leftover one mana we can just get one into there we can't never luck it's fine so we'll just continue to hit face with the novice engineer what i wanted to see happen there was arcane missiles is a random randomly split among all enemies that's including the character itself and all minions on the um all minions on their side so we got unlucky and all three went into Valyria there, but what we two into the Rifleman would have been great. One would have been okay, and then we could have picked it up with the Novus Engineer. As it stands, because nothing went in to the Rifleman, no use of uh, throwing our Engineer away quite yet when we can get in another damage, point of damage into the Rogue. So we'll let him pass back. Sucks, but we can handle it. No, we can't handle it. So, um, we will swing in here. An arcane and elect to refill our hand. Passing it back. So here we'll use our mana as efficiently as possible. I mean, we could throw down the Wolf Rider, which would do three damage, and the Hero Power, so four total. But I think we'll, it's better to establish our board here. He'll have a hard, harder time dealing with a 4-4 four, four, um, Nightblade. It's gonna do three damage from the Battle Cry. So I'm okay with leaving one damage behind to um, put four damage, four toughness onto the field. Assassinate, huh? He's not even messing around. So if I would've known he had that card, we would've probably played it different, but that's okay. Um, so here we will drop the killer combo of Wolf Rider and Raid Leader, allowing us to swing for four. I don't see anything else that really stands out. We could do Oasis, Snapjaw, and Hero Power. But, um... I think the ultimate goal is to get through this as quick as possible. And with... The, there's not a lot of going on here, so... The, uh... Face is the place. For sure. Peter's doing a pretty good job of keeping up, though. Already got him down to 10. We'll do one damage to the Goldshire Footman in hopes that nothing heals it and we can uh, pick it up and clear the way for our 4 3 to hit the face. Again, just to reiterate or just to drive home the lesson about taunt, it should be pretty obvious just from watching, but. When, when a taunt creature is in the way, we are unable to attack um, the character until we clear out the taunt minions. So 
So like we this can't. One's mine. You can't. A minion with taunt is in the way. Right. So we could either swing in, killing it, but then we're not doing as much damage as we want. We could do one damage to it with our hero ability, clearing it, which is what we will do. Or um, polymorph it into a sheep, which would remove the taunt and turn it into a 1-1 one -one beast. So, got a couple options there. But we set ourselves up pretty well. We'll just clear it out. Swing for four, leaving six. And then that's perfect amount for a fireball to pick up the win. So there's our first... Uh, game in the books um, first non tutorial non uh, mission game we're st st still pretty straightforward but we are actually playing with classic cards now mulliganing and doing hero powers so that's cool there's the old rogue picked up a really good card there frostbolt is a great card looks like we got eight more mage cards to unlock so like I said there's the first five games in practice mode there's the first one so question is do we excuse me do we um, stick with mage or do we jump over to rogue um, might as well stick with mage I guess just to open up the basic cards quicker I also trying to think um, we'll want to kind of once we get out of these basic quests we're going to be um, attempting to make a budget free to play deck and uh, using it on the ladder if I remember correctly rogue is extremely expensive and hard to get the cards for compared to something like a Cthune mage so we'll stick with mage Queue up another game here. I don't know if we're going to get through all five tonight. Um, we might take a break after this, but um, let's choose Hunter. Why not? Old Rexar. So I really like Arcane Intellect in this deck because it keeps us um, resource heavy. Novus Engineer is pretty good in this matchup because unlike Rogue, Hunter has to dedicate actual card resources to clearing Novus Engineer. We're going to go ahead and, even after we've praised Arcane Intellect, we're going to dump one in favor of finding some more minion action. So that's a good trade. We, uh, so you get the coin. Use it wisely. So the the reason why in in Hearthstone the way it's set up with um, with how powerful low costed minions are, how powerful minions are in general, and how you get um, guaranteed one mana every turn. There is certain advantages for the player that goes first. And um, in fact, there you have a higher win percentage, I believe, if you go first. And so to try to counter that, Hearthstone gives the second player um, an extra card and a coin. The coin is a free cast. It's a spell. And it gives us one mana to use on that turn only. So it's kind of a way to even the odds. Um, from being at a disadvantage of going second. <laughs> so I don't think we're going to use it. We'll probably use it on turn four. What I'm thinking, actually, We don't have anything to do on four. And so that, that the coin on four could help us accelerate the night blade and play a five mana creature on turn four. 
And if we were to use the coin on turn one here, all we could have done is either A, played Nova's Engineer, or B, uh, Hero Powered into the Stone, Co Stone Tusk Boar. Um, I believe we will just Hero Powered now. Next turn, we will more than likely play a Wolf Rider. Timberwolf can easily come in, attack the Wolf Rider, and kill it. And that's a good trade for the computers. For the computers, but um, the other plays, in my opinion, there were less optimal. Anyway, we'll stick with this game plan. Go ahead and. Uh, So if we, we were thinking about pointing out the night blade, which would be good. Um, he couldn't answer it right away. Alternatively, we could play an Oasis Snapjaw, which is good also because it's two power can clear the two toughness Bloodfin Raptor, and it also has a very large body. Seven toughness is not to be scoffed at, especially against a hunter who will have a hard time dealing with it now not knowing exactly classic hunter cards there are a couple um situational removal cards that a hunter can use to remove single creatures from the board pretty effectively but we'll take our risks we'll take our chances and hopefully they are not playing them in these beginner decks we run the risk though if, if you don't so holding on to the coin until just the right time is a really smart strategy, but you also run the risk of it becoming dead weight in your hand where you have enough mana to do anything you would want to anyways. They'll never know. Does that make sense? <clears throat> what I mean by that is like if you if we have nothing over six mana and we're already over six mana, what what happens when we get up into like turn nine mana, turn ten mana? I mean, there's only going to be so many cards we can cast. This one's we'll mine. Here. They'll never know what. So we'll coin out arcane explosion. I think it's a pretty good clear for us. We're back in the driver's seat. We got sheep for days. This one's mine. This one's and we're just on cleanup now. What we should win next turn. For that fireball. It's unfortunate, but nothing we can't handle. A lot closer game than the last couple. So we will boom, clear that taunt. You always gotta get the taunts out of the way. And finish the game up. 
by doing the last three damage. And there you go, that's our Hunter class unlock. So it's just letting us know you don't unlock a card every level. It starts to slow down. Um, next level we will receive Mirror Image, which is a good spell for mages. There's our Hunter. Mm. We'll do one more. Unlock three classes today. Uh, so we'll just keep going. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna choose the guys we like. So we'll go Warlock next. Fireball at home, keep the Wolf Rider, keep the Arcane Missiles. Arcane Missiles are a good answer to early stuff. Early stuff, randomness hurts a little bit. But. Someone called for the oh, that's perfect. Waste that ba healing battle cry, give us a target to shoot in the face. Here we're hoping that this hits at least one in the Voodoo Doctor. There we go. Mage Hero Power is awesome. Being able to use it to clear minions or do one damage to the opponent is huge. So that 4 4 is a little troubling. We'll go ahead and uh, answer it with our first taunt of the night, Sinjin Shield Master. I think last lesson we mentioned that. This is one card that I think we will keep in our uh, ladder deck once we get through all this bullcrap and get to make our own deck, so to speak. I think a 3-5 taunt at 4 is right where you want to be in classic, like, chink cards. Obviously, you're going to get destroyed on ladder playing against real decks, but starting off, I think it's a good card. Here, I think we will Wolf Rider and Arcane Intellect just to use our mana. Three damage in on that Warlock. We don't really care if he wants to use his Org, org Magi, Magi to clear the Wolf Rider. What we wouldn't want to see is like a mortal coil. Yeah, that's not what we want to see. Nothing we can do about that. So just to keep the board clear, we'll do um, all right, one one damage AOE, followed by uh, hero power and cleaning up the four four. And then finish it off by dropping a Bloodfin Raptor. Ready to ride. You 
So what did he do there? He played his own wolf rider it looks like. Okay, tricky tricky. We'll turn up the pressure here. Job's done. Hearthstone is a very You'll hear it referred to as curved stone. And what that means is it's very advantageous to go first, like we talked about earlier in the video, but it's also advantageous to be using your mana efficiently every turn and pl playing minions, well-costed, high-value minions every turn, sticking them to your board while attempting to keep their board clear. Um, so for example, Keeping this is good, and then we can follow that up with a uh, arcane explosion and a hero power. And now he has no board presence, and it's going to take him a lot of resources to build back up. The only thing he can really respond to quickly is your spells and charge. So, because we kept these creatures on the board, this one's mine. we're able to push through so much damage in a single turn that minions are the name of the game. I, there's rarely a deck in Hearthstone that doesn't play the majority of its cards are minions, I would say. There are some out there. Uh, and some control decks go very heavy with a lot of spell answers and stuff like that. But for the most part, um, especially starting off, you're it's you're gonna do a lot. You're having a lot more success and learn a lot more good habits in the Hearthstone game by playing aggro or very aggressive, low crossed mana creatures and playing them on curve. So like on turn one, you're playing a one drop. On turn two, you're playing a two drop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's going to do us do it for us for the night. As we talked about, uh, rank four, we opened up Mirror Image. We won three games. We unlocked six cards. We have six more cards to unlock. So um, next lesson, uh, we will finish up this quest and um, hopefully unlock the rest of the classes. At that point, I, I hope that they um, turn us loose and let us get busy on that ladder. So the first thing we'll do at that point is kind of take um, inventory of all the cards we have. We'll try to decide if it's worthwhile for us to go and purchase anything. I believe if we purchase one um, Old Gods pack, we're guaranteed a C'Thun, which is our, would be our first legendary. So we'll do that for sure. And I believe we'll start by making a uh, Mage Cthulhu deck and seeing how far we can get in March. So uh, I don't know about you, but I'm excited and I look forward to uh, continuing our lessons next time. Thanks for watching and uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.